Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. This is my daily stocks signals video for Wednesday, the 6th of March. So um, I'm going to, ch I've chosen HD today. I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and our Black Box Breakout Indicator for the Think or Swim trading platform. Uh, those indicator suites are also available for Ninja Trader and TradeStation. So I'm going to do a bit of a multiple time frame strategy here, and I teach this in my elite as part of my elite training course. Uh, it's just one of those strategies in there. But I just want to just touch on it a little bit to see, show you how powerful our Elliott Wave indicator is. So this is the weekly time frame, the 10 year weekly time frame for HD. You can see we've recently had a wave for pullback and we're on a fifth wave a longer term with this with an ultimate target in our automated target zone up here around about $234. So really strong growth stock longer term. We've had the recent correction, the profit taking, uh, which has taken us into our uh, automated probability zones there. So we are looking for longs on HD now. So when we go down to the daily time frame, we can see now how we behave within the channel. And I teach the channel uh, how to basically frame uh, trends in my training courses. Uh, but see how we've recently had this wave for on the daily time frame, and we've traded and tipped our fifth wave target zone. So that was a great trade. And then we've had a short term bearish trend with a fifth wave target hit down at the bottom. This whole move back was that weekly wave four. Uh, this is the support level. And now we're moving back up we're through a major, major support and resistance zone here in white. And then we've come back down to test it as support on a wave four on the daily time frame. So now we've got a fifth wave target up here around 196.90. We've got some great support here on the wave four pullback, not just in our EMA cloud, but also in our probability pullback zones. We're in the amber zone here. You can't really see it that well because of the, uh, the white support zone that I've drawn on there. But we've had some great profit taking since earnings, okay? Now we're back at this big support level. Can it hold? So what I'm gonna do is go to the 240 minute, the four hour time frame. Uh, gonna get a better smooth, a smoother way for, and you can see the entry just a little bit easier. So it's the same entry as it was on the daily. I just wanted to show you this on the four hour time frame here. So, first of all, when we look at these wave four pullbacks, there's a couple of things that we look at for behavior. Well, a few things. Uh, the first thing, the top uh, sub chart here, the 535 oscillator, has crowned and come back and, and then tested the 140. So between 90 and 140, on this wave four pullback is the sweet spot for this wave four. Now, if we start to move away from these lows, you'll see this red uh, oscillator crown and come back towards zero. That's great. The next thing is our false breakout stochastic. We can see here at the top in the overbought zone, we've got these yellow, this is part of our indicator suite, Elliott Wave indicator suite, these yellow lines here or dots. Uh, these are false breakout dots. So these denote a really strong bullish trend. So when we've pulled back against there and crossed over in the oversold zone, you see we didn't do it on these occasions. There is a big likelihood we're going to go on and go back to that main bullish momentum. So we can see we've had quite a deep pullback on our multiple time frame dot cloud, which is part of our black box breakout indicator here. So that basically gives us the price action in regards to our cloud. You can see the cloud here on this uh, daily on this four hour time frame. Uh, we can see then the dots four hour is below the cloud. The daily is in the cloud. Two days, three days, weekly, all in the cloud, all looking for that support right now. So we're looking for an entry to trade that fifth wave, which is the highest probability move in an Elliott wave sequence. So we've got earnings out of the way. We seem to have found really good support. Despite a couple of days of real negativity in the market, it does seem to be holding reasonably well. So reasonably conservative entry strategy. We need to be above this pivot here um, because we don't want a head and shoulders effect. So we want to make sure we're above there. So 187.22 is my entry long on 
Home Depot HD stop loss 181.86. So the stop loss is um, you know 20 cents below this wave four. It's an expensive stock. You need a bit of leeway there. And then the target zone is around about 197 dollars. And that this is our automated target zone for that fifth wave. So as you can see, I built the picture from the weekly looking at overall bullish stock strong growth stock hd uh, we can see where we are on that weekly time frame we've recently had that pullback um, and now we are moving towards uh, looking for that bullish move on the fifth wave move on the weekly on the daily and now on the four hourly so we've got a really good looking trade using multiple time frame strategy to to build the confidence in this fifth wave and then i've set it up on the four hour uh, time frame using our Elliott Wave indicator suite here. So just a reminder, HD, long entry, 187.22. Make sure it goes through there. It's got to do some work. It's got to get through there with some volume, and then we will see uh, some momentum build back to the upside. Market conditions will help that if we get some bullish moves. Uh, target $197, so great risk reward of around 1 to 1.8. So really good looking trade, and that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.